Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2 where last episode we discovered this freight issue here. And the question is how exactly do we want to solve that? Well one thing that we could do, do we have any external freight like rail connections? I don't think we do. If we did, I would say that we could create a rail freight system. That would alleviate some of this str strain down here. But I'm not sure how much this actually matters. Reason being, once we get past this roundabout, things start to definitely speed up a little bit. This is the bottleneck right here. And I think it's because they want to... All of these are going to want to go this way, right? Right. All of the semis are going to want to go north here. I have a very dumb idea. <laughs> a very dumb idea indeed. What we do is we come here. I don't know if this would even work. We forbid a left-hand turn here. Yeah, we can't control that in any meaningful way. But then what we would do, and I have no idea if they'd pathfind this, we would put in an off-ramp down over here that ends up wanting to come around over this way, right? And then once it arrives here, then it comes up and around over here-ish. Over here-ish. And then from there, it merges up over here. Like that. We then forbid a left-hand turn here, and this becomes a bypass to go this way. Again, I think this is probably terrible. Look at that. These guys are trying to utilize it. We're going to need to wait for this guy to make his way in. Fascinating. So they are indeed utilizing it, but this is only a single lane, right? And we could think about upgrading it if we have space to a two lane to make sure that there's, <laughs> this is getting increasingly silly, to make sure that there's space here to uh, move a lot of these guys through, right? This runs into overlapping items, but we could put it out over this way. That's especially bad. So that would end up being, I, I just want to move that down and have this be maybe more down here, like that. We would also forbid... Oh, this needs to be a two-lane one-way highway. Hang on. This is currently a two-way. So I want this to be a two-lane one-way highway. Kind of like this. Now, we definitely see some issue there, but there, we can solve it like that. Cool. Okay. Then, what I'd like to do is I'd like to specifically have... I don't like having this be a stop sign here. I'd like to specifically have this traffic yield to this traffic, which is kind of crazy. But the other thing that we could do here, of course, is we can take this up and bring this into a larger road and have this right here, which it's currently coming back as slope too steep. But we could have this here merge in slightly differently, right? And how would we go about doing that? Well, we can do something like this. Hmm. That's not ideal over this way, I think. But something like that. Then we get rid of the stoplight here. And we get rid of the crosswalk. Like this. And then that buys us some time to merge in over this way. But this is still only two lanes. And I'd really like this to be an eight-lane road right here. Now, that is giving us some problems. And that's not necessarily shocking. <laughs> not necessarily shocking at all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back down for now to a four-lane road. The idea exists... Okay, it doesn't actually want to allow us to do this. I'm going to take this out for now and then do this. The idea exists, right? But I'm not 100% convinced that it's the right idea. So this is going to end up merging in up over this way. About there. Like that. 
I don't know what kind of black magic this semi was just using, but whatever. Okay, so now all of this traffic is coming out over here. Are they only using the one lane? They are because of, look at this turn lane. This one is turn only. This one is not. So our problem here lies in our lane selection right here. That's the core issue, is that we are not having a turn lane here. Can we fix that? Not to my knowledge with the tools that we have here. We can forbid a right-hand turn here. We can forbid straight ahead here. Or we can just leave it as is, right? And that'll end up being something kind of like this. So this lane, it can move into either of these two. And then this lane would be a straight shot through to the roundabout. Like that. Now this merge in up over here is going to be kind of interesting. We'll see how that ends up going in the future. These guys are currently yielding to these guys, which is what I said I wanted them to do. But go ahead, get going. You can do it. So, I mean, broadly, it does work if you're trying to go this way. If you're trying to go this way or this way, you'll have to utilize the roundabout. But almost everyone here wants to go this direction. So I'm asking the question right now, is there a point in having the two lanes here? And I believe the answer to that is not particularly. So I think I'm going to take this down to just a single lane and have it merge in like that. So that way we have this through lane and this merging lane. In theory. So what should end up happening, of course, is these guys should move over while they're merging here. But I don't think that's what's actually going to end up happening. But that is what they should do. No doubt about that. So it's currently 1939 or about 740 in the tw in the 12 hour clock. And that's absolutely fine here. We are seeing this traffic start to move through. It is not building up more. So this bypass is actually functioning. It's awkward, yes. And I would really like it You're tuned in to if we could control this lane here. So I think what we want to do in order to do that is we bring this out as, as only a is it there's no asymmetrical highways we could do an asymmetrical road so what that would end up looking like is this would be only a seven lane asymmetric road we'd maybe have to go with like a i i want it to be like a a three lane we're, asymmetric we're live, road um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident like this uh, somewhere so that's uh, going to end up meaning that we have something kind of like traffic flow should return to normal but if you're this right trip out you might like want this to wait a little while until everything clears and up. then this guy would come down over here now that slope too steep we can just we'll eliminate that here. for the moment well, and we can build this out this way and bring that into the traffic circle like that. So there's only one lane exiting here, but then when this merges in, that goes into a second lane. This remains two lanes all the way through. We're going to want to get rid of the crosswalk. Definitely. And this area up here, I would like to remain the three lane asymmetric road. Now this is going to be quite a lot lower. Hmm. Okay. I think we're going to need to change when this merges in. So it's going to have to merge in up over here. But it's certainly going to be a lot uh, a lot lower speed here, right? And that's not necessarily ideal. But we're going to need multi-curve tool, and this is going to need to come in somewhere around... Where, where would that end up being? We're going to need this to come in, like, up over here, right? Like this. I guess that's the best we can do. Sure. 
No crosswalk here. And looks like this is currently a stoplight. No stoplight here either. Okay. So what that's going to do is that's going to give us a dedicated lane here for these guys to merge in and not create an issue here. I don't know why this guy just decided to pull a U-turn. What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, very strange. Whatever. We've got a dedicated lane now for these to merge in. And that means we can only go north in one lane here, but this will pretty much immediately go back up to 100. They have to slow down for the roundabout anyway, right? So that should end up resulting in a decent setup here. Now, we've got this merging on, but that's not a high traffic situation. So I don't think that's an issue. Traffic is certainly moving through this much better now. We do see this slowdown, but that appears to be just behind this road maintenance vehicle, which is just going to randomly stop and, you know, like work on the road. But we'll see what ends up happening with that. I'm fairly certain we're not going to have a major issue with it. This is basically a dedicated way for the freight trucks to enter the city here. <laughs> the road maintenance vehicle. Okay. Blocking our dedicated lane. I like it. Well, that's fine for now. So that does mean that we may end up hitting some issues here. A lot of these guys are going to want to go all the way through north, right? Actually, they're kind of heading out over this direction. Okay. Well, that definitely works as far as this goes. Unless if you've got somebody trying to dive over into this lane for some reason. Like, this lane is wide open, bud. Wide open. There we go. Now this traffic can move again. This is supposed to be a dedicated through traffic lane, and this is a dedicated merge lane. I would prefer it if this little area here didn't exist, but we don't have all that much control, right? So there's only so much we can do on that front. That said, we are making our way through this here and checking in up here. This is definitely where the primary issue is at this point. So, how much of this traffic is trying to go where? It looks like most of them are trying to go out this direction. So this is a good argument for a bypass here, like we've done previously. So this would end up being just something very, very simple, like this. Allowing them to simply bypass the roundabout and not have to worry about that direction. And we don't want a left-hand turn here. So no left-hand turn there. Beautiful. So now if they're going to be going to the right here, they just take this bypass and don't go through the roundabout. That will reduce traffic in the roundabout a fair amount and should clean up this area in theory. This is nice and cleaned up here, although this is not the prettiest bypass in the world. It does succeed. And we're definitely seeing this bypass get utilized. So that seems to be absolutely fine. They do, of course, have to be in this lane in order to utilize it. And there's currently a lot of congestion here. So we're going to have to wait for that to clean up a little bit to see how this really ends up working. But for the time being, this will hopefully lessen the strain. We should not be seeing a significant number of people entering the roundabout and then exiting this direction. So... I say as a significant number of people, or I guess just this guy, goes through the roundabout. Hi, road maintenance vehicle. Are you, uh, are you working or are you just failing your pathfinding? Probably the latter. Well, that's okay for now. There are a fair amount of people still entering here and exiting this way. They're not necessarily taking the bypass, but some are taking the bypass. And I think, arguably, a lot of this is people who simply can't make it over to this exit, right? Because they're in this lane. So we're going to have to wait for this traffic to die down to see what the pathfinding ends up really looking like so we can see this sort of a situation here. That's what that comes down to. We just got to wait. So that's fine. The traffic is working on clearing out here. It's, whoa, this uh, delivery van just careening into the other lane there. And then, yeah, this situation is not great. 
Not great at all. <laughs> there we go. Don't try to turn over right here. Like, make your merge over into this lane somewhere back here, guys. That's that's how this works. <laughs> you have to pre-plan your turn when there's this kind of traffic. Like, this isn't going to work. I mean, it will eventually, but it's going to slow everybody way, way down. So, I mean, this is reasonably fine. It's certainly not ideal. Mostly because of the lane changing. But I think as we continue to work through this, they'll be able to pre-plan their lane changes down this direction a little bit better. And the traffic is definitely starting to clear out up here. So that means that the lane changes will be easier and we'll be able to see situations like this one where this guy late lane changed, but he had room to do so and didn't end up delaying anybody. And this guy just drove right through this minivan. Okay, that seems very safe. Very safe indeed. Cool, this traffic is moving pretty smoothly at this point. We are seeing these guys backing up a little bit, but I'm not expecting that to be too long of a situation. Yeah. Broadly, this, this bypass is definitely lessening the strain here. We could arguably make bypasses on all sides, and we probably should. Ultimately. So that would end up going somewhere up over here. This would go down here. And then this would go down over here, like this. So that creates us a bypass on like all sides here. Then we would have to make sure that no left-hand turns are allowed here. No left-hand turns allowed here or here. No left-hand turns allowed anywhere, really. Just don't, don't take any left turns. Oh, there's still one over here. No left turn there either. Perfect. So we'll get these bypasses in. That will lower the strain here. Hello, there's still a left turn here. No left turn. There we go. That looks better. That will overall lower the strain on this roundabout for people who are just trying to take a right-hand turn, which is mostly going to be coming from the south and going off to the east. But not necessarily. We are going to see some more of these being used here and there. For people who are going, of course, north-south or east-west or vice versa, it's going to still have to be the roundabout. But if you are just taking a right-hand turn, this will reduce the strain on the roundabout. So we're definitely seeing this clean up. This did clean up, so that looks fantastic. This is obviously a little bit lopsided, but that's fine. They'll make their way through here eventually. This semi is blocking a lot of space right now trying to go north. Okay. He'll get there eventually. Perfect. Cool. So, yeah, this is high traffic, no doubt about that, but this is also something that will be solved as we get our subway a little bit more online. I'm not ready to continue to bring the subway online yet. I think we'll avoid really working on that for at least an episode or two. I'd like to evaluate how our subway as it is right now is doing. 5,000. I mean, that has almost doubled again. What is this? Water issues? Okay. I guess we have a water issue. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, our water availability is a bit on the low side, actually. So we're going to need, we have a groundwater pumping station right now. We could just grab another water pumping station down this way. Is this seawater down here? Is there such a thing as salt versus fresh water in this game? I'm not convinced that there is. We definitely want to pump our polluted water, right? Yes, definitely. That That's how this works. Actually, I want to put this out over this way if we can. This is actually, that's in water there. We could put it here. Do it. Okay, so we have this water pumping facility here. Actually, that's a fair amount of noise pollution. We should maybe put it like down over here. That may not be the worst idea. There's going to be a lot of noise pollution out over here. We could also put it up on this side, which is maybe not a bad idea either. 
So if we were to relocate this, that would only cost us 15,000. Okay. Road is required, of course, but I want to put it somewhere up over this direction. There we go. And that's going to need to be connected to the water pipe, which there's not a water pipe underneath the highway there. We can just connect it out over here, I suppose. Or we can... Well, we're going to need a road, right? And where does this road have to connect? So this is going to end up being just a regular road here. So this is currently unconnected. No pedestrian access, no car access. So this has to come in, like, down over here. Okay, but it also has to connect up here. So I guess this is designed in such a way where the road is supposed to pass on the side here. So it's supposed to go in something kind of like this, approximately. So let's just think about how we want to do that. Something kind of like this could work. That seems to be connected. Okay, and now we would need to connect this pipe up to, well, somewhere down this direction, right? We can just bring it in down over here for now and have Recent that get connected up. In so in theory, shortages we in should the see this start to output water. Supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. Yeah, it's at 4% usage. A local public service announcement. Cool. A that should be more than sufficient to deal with our with our water issue. So that looks good. Checking in on this intersection here, it's definitely still busy. There's a little bit of backup in the east-west direction. The north-south direction, not so much. And that's currently getting a lot of priority going through. But eventually, I'm sure there will be a gap, right? These guys are... Yeah, there's not that much traffic coming in this direction. So there should be a gap, and these can start to take over, and the opposite will happen. Now, I wouldn't mind, necessarily, having entry to this be stoplighted. Which, of course, defeats the purpose of the roundabout. Well, so, no, if we got rid of the roundabout, it, and, and we stoplighted this instead, right. this might actually be better for these very high traffic locations, well, we especially the ones that do have the bypass. So it would end up being something kind of like this, More after this, in theory. And the pathfinding will probably handle this better as well. So we're going to keep the roundabouts, except for in areas where it is a significant problem, and then we'll replace it with a system kind of like this, I suspect as we go forward. So that'll be okay. We're going to have these traffic lights just letting us do something like this. Yeah, the pathfinding, I think, is going to do a lot better with these traffic lights. We are still seeing a lane change right up over here, which isn't ideal. And this is a pretty big backup, but there was already a pretty decent backup there. So... Really? We don't do a protected turn by default? That's really awkward that there's no protected turn here. Very awkward indeed. And it's pretty clearly just on a timer. So that's not necessarily ideal either. So what would be the best way to handle this then? Well, arguably we could do a stop sign. The problem here with a lack of protected turn is that we're going to have this situation where these guys are trying to turn here and that's going to be blocking two lanes of traffic for this lane to turn. The solution to that, of course, is as I said, a protected turn where we have just this lane going, then these two are allowed to go and this lane is not. Unfortunately, the simulation doesn't seem to do that. So in that case, we might be better off putting in stop signs. Which is itself going to cause problems. And this is the problem in question that it ends up causing, right? So stop signs I don't think are the solution here either. Maybe the solution is still the roundabout. 
I don't think there is an ideal solution without additional control, is basically the conclusion that I'm coming down to. So ultimately, what this comes down to is we have some awkward situations and a lack of control to deal with them. Really, the real solution is less traffic in this area, right? That's the real solution. The other option is to have this be done in a bypass situation where this road goes under this one and then this one goes over and we have exits. That's the other option. And it's maybe not a bad one. So let's think about getting that implemented here real quick. It's very close to the end of the episode, but let's pull this back a little bit. And that would mean that this highway would end up going through here. And we would need to take this back, I think, a little further to about here or so. Then we would bring this at an upper level here. This would come in and down to about here. Then it would go over to somewhere around here, but there's pillars here, aren't there? Yes, there are. So that's gonna have to come out of there for now. And then this would go through to approximately in angle snap only mode, approximately right here. And then this would come up and would go in about there. Then this highway would go back over like that. Then all we would do is we would have this be a ramp up over this direction, about like that and then a ramp down this direction, out over here somewhere. That is giving us a pillar issue, so maybe from about here, and then about here, and then about that slope too steep, but we can do it here. Okay, looks good. No left-hand turns are allowed here, or here, or up over here, or here, or here. These are all just, like, ways to get onto the other highway, right? So no left-hand turns allowed for any of that. Okay. So this would be the other solution to it. Which is just we create a simple interchange here. And that means that traffic that is straight lining will go through much more efficiently. Previously, we were seeing that they were trying to take a right-hand turn. But now we're seeing a significant amount of straight line traffic. So we're just going to put this in, and we'll call that good for the moment. I do think that this will ultimately be a better solution for us for right now. And we'll think about changing some other highways to that. Although this one would not be a good one, because we definitely do want to take a left here. We have a large amount of traffic trying to do that. Not currently, but at times. So this would, I think, be the ultimate way to go. What if you are here and you're trying to go south. Well, that's definitely a little bit awkward. If you're if you're going west and you want to go south, that's certainly more awkward. I think the answer there is you exit here, you come up, and you you would have to come up like all the way up here and then come up here and then go south. It would be very not great. This is obviously not an ideal interchange. No doubt about that. If you're trying to take a left-hand turn, essentially, things become a lot more awkward for you. But if you're trying to go straight, then it's great. And that's what we end up seeing here with them getting off of the highway and coming up here. They're trying to take a left-hand turn up this direction. They're actually bypassing this roundabout, though, which in this case is maybe kind of okay. This is no longer the issue, and it has now moved over to here. But they're just attempting to avoid this, which they shouldn't, because this is completely open right now. So, I don't know. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue to marvel over the decisions made by the traffic in this game. It can be very strange at times, for sure. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kintogen, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.